beautiful people how you doing how's it been how's it been going if this is your first time coming across this beautiful channel sister brother you're under the one percent welcome on but so just in case you didn't know my name is yemi yemi bells i'm a contact creator that feels good so welcome back today i have something juicy to discuss as you So I posted um something on my Instagram just in case you don't know it is Y E M I underscore B A L Z. So just in case you didn't know, I posted something on my Instagram that says, "What kind of men should our single sisters stay away from?" And pretty much people responded, and that's why I decided I was going to talk about it. We're gonna address it. We're gonna gonna address it. So a whole lot of people. My opinion though, I'm like, I can't deal with a liar. Mm, sure I can. Hell no. And one of my sisters said um, on Instagram, she left a comment. She said the toxic one makes her almost lose a shit. I said, sister, no, stop it right there. You're not gonna lose no shit. You're not gonna gonna lose nothing. That is why I'm here. Not one of my watch. I'm going to watch. You're not gonna lose no shit. That's what we're talking about it. Some people said controlling men, men that control a man said manipulating men, they can deal with them. Mm. Ow. It's alright. <laughs> manipulating men, some people said proud men, some people said arrogant, some people said authoritative is a total turn off for ladies. Show this time. And overall, the pata pata one, the bum 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 bum, everything. The child leading bum. Married men. So just in case you don't have the energy to fight, quarrel, or something, struggle, you know, or ready to go about going to churches, praying for your life, blah 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 blah. Stay away from married men. That's my advice. But if you know that this situation is different, definitely you don't have no church, you have to give it a try. Sister, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, just do what you have to do and make sure you do it right. But just in case you know you don't have energy to fight, to scream and shout. Take your time and watch it. Someone like me, I cannot deal with a liar. No, you cannot walk. You cannot walk. Although, sister is secured. Well, oh, you get what I'm about? Thank God for that. But anyways, I can't deal with a liar. Like, these are the kind of man we'll be talking to. They're going to be telling you you're the only person in your life. You're the sugar in their tea. They'll be acting like they cannot sleep if they don't see you or get a dose of you. Excuse me. It's those kind of people that... A friend will invite you for O and You will wear your best, most expensive, and go. On getting there, you will see your fiance there. Do it, yes, I do. Like, what's happening? Probably a wrong address, or maybe I don't. I don't. I don't know where I'm coming to or something. I can't deal with a liar. Those those people, I don't know. I don't know why it, it just drives me nuts. It makes me lose it. I can't deal with somebody that can stand in my face, look at me, eyeball to eyeball. Me, I've experienced that one. Koroju, koroju. Husband like to what? Excuse me. What can we do? But me, I can't deal with it. I can't do with someone like that. Controlling men. <laughs> the ones I want to tell you what to do. That's a total turn off, just so you know, man. We don't like people that control. But another one we need to look through is also arrogant men, proud one, and authoritative one. The ones that will take you to the mall, take you, you know, do shopping, spoil you, be giving you some nice, nice spoiling. In the end, you have to carry the bags and baggages by yourself. Or, um, babe, can you take a picture of this? can do that in public. Wait. Can you just loosen up a bit and be too stiff? Can you not be stiff? Can you just help your sweet baby take those pictures in those good angles how you like her? And don't be acting up. I don't understand. Manipulative men like can we just <laughs> can we pass? Now another one I feel like this is also like an overall for it. Abusing men both verbally and physically. Someone like me, I wouldn't advise anyone out there to be in a relationship, a relationship out of pity. I wouldn't advise you stoop low to try and make a relationship work, especially when you already know it's not worth it. Someone like me, I wouldn't say you should still permit somebody that would abuse you verbally. Either use words on you, call you fat, insult you at the slightest opportunity that they get. Don't encourage or don't appreciate your efforts in being a like you know good wife a responsible one that you try to be you understand i wouldn't 
and i wouldn't expect you to accommodate that because i won't take that and whatever i can eat i won't feed you up whatever i can take i won't offer it to someone so i don't see a reason why i should talk about abusive or abusing abusive men either verbally or physically like no effort you know impetus under no circumstances should you still have the guts, effort and frivolity to come back and even apologize another one i would like to talk about is men that mistake insecurity for jealousy excuse me this one kills me the most although i have a video or short clip coming out about that mainly men that mistake insecurity for jealousy jealousy is uh it's just like you know something where it's a situation whereby something you should have all to yourself you know somebody is also taking a part of it and you know i understand you to be jealous or something like i understand okay probably there's no time too busy or stuff okay babe like i don't like you're always at work you're too it's like cheating in several ways anyways but insecurity number one you want to have the password to all my social media platform excuse me what's going on bro you need to sit up and take the hell and man up that's not gonna happen anyways if my husband asks me for my phone oh babe i need to use your facebook real quick and you see me asking like oh, or try to watch your I don't want to read my messages and stuff then you have every right to want to know what is happening like okay this is now you're acting suspected like you're making me suspect you that's different but now you don't want to see me post any picture with any guy either my male friend my whatever we work together my colleague you don't want to see me post a picture if we post a picture we have to break up and have to talk about it and that's a whole conversation that shouldn't be in the first place if there's understanding excuse me that is not jealousy that is insecurity and i, I don't think there's anyone out there that would want insecurity for their life ain't nobody tripping ain't nobody want to want to deal with that no bros take the help and do what man it how number two is you like how do I explain this? Aside having passed out to all my social media platforms, aside being able to access everything I do, complains like why did you stay with this person? Or why did you move with this person? Or why did you or why did you oh that's not my jealousy? It's not insecurity. That video will be coming out soon because a whole lot of men or guys, whatever, keep mistaking what it means to be jealous and what it means to be insecure. We keep putting it together, and that's a very huge mistake. A mistake plus a difference is very huge, it's big, or too big, or large, or elaborate. You don't understand. <laughs> so, let me see, guys. Let me just see, see, see if there's anyone I didn't talk about. Anyways, I already talked about the proud one, the arrogant ones, the ones that can spoil you and stuff but can't do nothing, the ones that will make you turn you into slaves instead of helper, like the Bible stated. Wives that are helpers, girls like we are helpers. We they don't ask us to come and collect all the work. I'm gonna come to your house. I'm gonna do all your laundry. You don't wanna do nothing. You're gonna put your leg and fold them like this on top of each other. I'll sit down in the living room. I'm gonna be washing some nice thing on Netflix. I'm gonna be in the bathroom trying to scrub all those shit. That only God knows how many how many times you and some ladies already showered in this. It's like if you put a ring yet or that's still like about the insecurity. You didn't put a ring yet, but you're already giving me headache. You're making me think outrageously no it's not gonna gonna work it's not gonna you're gonna have to sit down and button up so anyways guys i hope this video has been helpful to you one way or the other don't mistake don't stoop so low for any relationship to work don't try to make something that you know it obviously won't work don't try to make it work don't try to ignore something that is already as obvious as possible don't try to struggle or don't try to ignore it or act like you didn't see those red flags just just to make it work one of my friends has a story like that and at the end of the day but they've been close to ten thousand dollars and at the end of the day Papa, but god knows best but don't don't waste those times like open your eye very well shine it scrutinize it use your microscope make sure you see it very well see what you're about you know go into and spend the rest of your life with or whatever make sure it's something that works for you make sure it's something that suits you make sure you don't have no regrets make sure you don't have to wake up daily asking god why this happened to me mm -mm. so anyways i'm gonna see you in my next video i hope you enjoyed my video please some men are already asking and dm me sister when are you going to do the type of women the type of women men should stay away from there's no cheating that video will also be coming up but not right after this 
I think I will still have to take some time, but definitely there's a video coming out of that too. The type of women men should stay away from. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Remember your one and only Yemi Babs. Please and please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Till I see you again. Bye.